Hey, I'm Greg. I'm one of the online marketing team here at MTech Digital. Today, I want to answer a few of the questions that we get on a regular basis. What is the value to website tracking? Isn't that just spying on consumers? I understand both sides of the, uh, of, of the debate on this. Every website you visit has some form of tracking uh, and, and leaves a cookie behind to help identify you the next time you come to the site. That can be used in dirty ways and it can be used in, in effective ways. Um, consumers still have the bottom line uh, say in what data they provide to a website when they visit. Uh, Google allows you to modify and alter any of the browsing history that's stored with your profile. There'll be a link to that in the description down below. Um, but at the same time, if you are a consumer and like to see new products or new items that are of value to you, uh, that cookie data is really important. Marketing is gonna happen on any platform whether you like it or not. This process um, used by Google, by Bing, by Facebook, um, simply allows advertisers who are more in line with what you care about to show you those ads and basically hides the stuff that you don't care about at all from you. So in some ways, that having that, that track data is actually valuable. Uh, because at least you're not being pummeled with things that you don't want. Next question. Does online advertising work and how much does it cost? I worry that it's too expensive and I won't see results. For sure, online advertising absolutely works. We've got clients who um, have immediate sales increases uh, as the result of online marketing efforts. When we work with clients, we work to find um, opportunities to identify engagement and consumer activity with their site, with their products, before we call a success um, on a particular ad. We call those conversions. So that is a, saw an ad, went to your site, clicked a button, bought a thing. Um, or went to an, saw an ad, clicked the phone number and talked to your staff. So we count those conversions, those times where the ad made somebody talk to you. Um, uh, we, we make those the key for determining whether or not the ad is successful or the spend is successful. So by looking at the total sales that are against, tracked against those ads, with, uh, taking into account the engagements from consumers for those ads and the conversion value um, of those ads, we can determine whether or not it's worthwhile for you. Um, I, we recommend starting as little as 150 a month, uh, but I wouldn't go below that. I think realistically, if you're going to market something, you need to make a commitment to market it. And that means three to $500 a month as a minimum with the understanding that you're tracking results in some way. Not every business can do it the same way. We have to figure out what works for you. Uh, what are some specific ways I can improve website traffic on my own? Um, a lot of businesses we talk to are concerned about their spend for marketing. Uh, marketing is, is, is sort of a necessary evil, to be very honest. Um, you can't find a customer unless you're out there looking for them. And that's what marketing is all about. We believe that um, in, in 2020, uh, a lot of small businesses have sort of tightened up, small and medium businesses have tightened up their budgets and they're afraid to spend that money because marketing is a cost. It's not a revenue generator. The idea is to build potential customers. That's what marketing is all about. So can you do things on your own? Absolutely you can. You can manage your Google, Google business profiles on your own. And I think the more that businesses take ownership of that, the better they're going to do. Um, also, you can continue to build content on your website, developing blogs or articles that are relevant to the product you sell and the consumers who use them. Again, it's a long burn process. This is not an immediate fix, but by doing so, the content on your site will drive traffic over time. The biggest factor though, Google My Business. Make sure your Google business listings are up to date, your addresses are accurate, and that they match 
all other citations online. You don't want a different address format for your Yelp, your Google, your Facebook. You want those to be exactly the same to the character uh, to get the best bang for your buck. Then make sure you're doing posts on the Google My Business platform to ensure that people have visibility to what's going on in your business's world. Uh, by doing that, you're gonna reach more customers. You're gonna spend some time though. Free doesn't happen. Your time has value. And that's what a lot of our customers uh, and our clients have, have sort of come to see is that if they're gonna have to take four hours to do this stuff over the course of a month, it's just as easy to spend that on somebody else and have them do it. So. There's your answer. If, if you count your time as free time, then there's lots you can do on your own for free. Did I just cover them all? I think I... Why'd that light turn off? Got very moody. Very moody. <laughs>